Welcome to Stitches and Sundries. This is Floss Tube episode 19. Yes. We are a stitchy podcast about cross stitch and fun projects like that. I'm Lauren. I'm Devin. And you can find me at Lauren Up Stitching on Instagram. And you can find me as Devin underscore no loose ends. And we're done with the intro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. Happiness. That Happiness. That. Uh, so we have been doing stuff for a couple weeks. I've not been doing as much as I'd want. Yeah. And I feel like I made a little progress on everything, but it's been a chaotic week. I feel like I was doing really great on cross stitch until I get here, and I'm like, I only have two things. So maybe I haven't been doing that great. <laughs> but did you make progress on those two things? Yes. Then that, that's I all mean, that matters. Progress, but it just doesn't like I'm like, I should have more. I should always just have more. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happens, guys. So Life oh, happens. Here. Life happens. It's, it was. It's yeah. been chaotic. The summer is starting, and we are. I'm getting ready for a big Memorial Day cookout, but I'm going like camping that. Memorial weekend. That'll yeah. be nice. So I have. Gonna be sleeping with the bears. <laughs> yeah, you might be because they're all coming out now. We have a bear at our house. It keeps getting into Jason's truck. Not getting in the cab, but getting into the bed. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, we just hanging out there, huh? Sean loads up the bed of the truck with trash, and like, it's not always convenient to when Jason can take trash because like the dump is still closed Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you put trash in the truck, it's gotta sit there for a day. Yeah. And now we have a bear who's like, I found some snacks in the snack wagon. Yeah. Which is what I'm calling Jason's truck from now on. It's the snack wagon. <laughs> that's 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 yeah. It's not the time of year to be putting your trash outside at any point. No. Like, but we have a bear, and he, I saw him yesterday. We were leaving the house, and he ran across the road in front of me. Mm, he's out and about. I know. He's looking for your Scary. snack wagon. Scary. And my, I have dogs that aren't always on a chain or something, so I'm kind of yeah. like, oh, he's going to kill my dogs. Yeah, they, they tend to leave. Yeah. Unless the dog tries something, which. I, I don't think Casper would. He's too chicken. I, Jennifer is a feisty little... <laughs> She might not know not to, huh? Right. She hasn't figured out what to be afraid of yet. Hopefully hopefully her instincts kick in that this is a much larger, (laughs) much chompier animal than I am. Maybe maybe I'm giving her too much credit because she's afraid of sticky notes. Yeah. (laughs) She's terrified of sticky notes. If you get a yellow sticky note out, she is like, oh my god, no. (laughs) Hilarious. That's hilarious. So anyway. (laughs) Anyway. I have four projects. Holy cow, lady. Yeah. I have four. two with progress, and then I have one new start that I kitted up and have in the frame, and I have four stitches on it that I left at home. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good. We're together today. I got it. I got it. Um, so I have, you want me to get started then? Since I yeah. have a couple more. Um, what do I feel like doing? I'll start with this one. So I'm taking a page out of Glue Trotting Stitcher's book and I found me a piece of stuff to hold my to hold our stuff over so you can actually see it. So a I piece found, of stuff piece for of my stuff. foam board for my stuff. Yes. Piece of foam board. I like that. A piece of stuff for my stuff. So my first project is this is Marilyn Blackwork. By the Sassy Ooh, Stitch like Boutique. This one. I mean, and I like all the ones you do, but this one. I have made significant progress. Oh, look at that. Let me get this one. Let me pull it closer. So look at this. Look the at this going. outline of Maryland is complete. It is done. That looks so good, Lauren. And it took me four days. And look, you did Gary County first. I did Gary County first. So it took me four days because. When I made my way around to where I started in the first place, they didn't connect. <gasps> oh no! And I was like, why are they connecting? <laughs> no! And so I piddled around and piddled around and realized that I just here and there had like missed a stitch, right? So like I was over a little mm-hmm. too far, I was down a little too far, just here and there. And so I didn't want to just jam all the stitches that I missed into the same place because this is actually a really accurate map of Maryland. And there would just be a really weird divot in the middle of Maryland for no reason. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll back up a little bit and I'll add a stitch here and I'll subtract a stitch there and I'll go a little higher. And I made it work, but it was like, 
painful. It was painful. It was misery. It sounds painful. Oh God. But it looks great. It looks like Maryland. It doesn't it does. look screwed up. It does. Yeah, it turned out good. And so I will start working on the black work stitching, which I got a little of. See if I can kind of point. We got a little of it started in Garrett County. And it's coming across. It's coming across. So this will all be filled in with this black work lace kind of stitching in here. And then it will be done. And so hopefully that's going to be that doesn't finish. go. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't take too crazy long. But uh, I was really pleased with it. And then I, I'm looking for a frame this weekend. Uh, I'm going to be looking for a frame to put in. I want a, I want a white frame because I think you can kind of see with this white thing, it makes the pink pop more. Yeah, so it really the makes the pop. pink fabric look good. Yeah. So that one, that was the one I really wanted the foam board for because if I just hold it up, like it's almost see-through. It feels, it feels very, uh, it's a very light colored material. So I might not do that every time because it's really annoying and she's a much better podcaster than I am. <laughs> All right. Hit me. It's really dirty. Wow. I didn't realize how dirty the black fabric would get. Black fabric. Uh, it's not forgiving at all, but. So this is the one I've been working on the most. This is Life is a Game. Ooh, it is coming along. I am working on those tunnels. Those Mario tunnels. Yes. My letter I F. love that green. It really pops on the black. It looks great. Mm -hmm. This is by Choco Coco Stitch. And um, I'm tr I was trying so hard to get a letter done, but man, that's a lot of stitching. <laughs> yeah, there's, that's a big F and there's lots of little like shading in it. Yes. So uh, I think each side has a little bit of the lime and then there's another another shade of green in the middle. Yeah. Um, but it's coming along. But it is coming along. It's coming along. And so... Um, I think I talked about in our last podcast that I plan on using this for our wedding, my wedding to Jason, and it's his little sign that we're going to hold up when we do photos. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe not necessarily in the photo booth, but just like one photo of us that's like by the professional photographer, mm -hmm. we will hold this sign and it'll be like something special to him. That's very cute. And look, Lauren, both of my needles are still on here. <laughs> so last time, I lost a needle in the floor, and Lauren almost lost her toe. I didn't always lose my toe, but I found it with my foot. <laughs> we were we were moving furniture in here. Like, we, we have a big desk in the corner now. Yeah, I noticed. And some... uh, we had to, like, fold all the stuff back, and I was, like, folding back the carpet, and I'm like, oh, God, that, that's a needle in the floor. And then I remembered your needle miner falling, and I was like, oh, I know who that belongs to. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, I almost murdered you. Well, and I was like, oh, I couldn't figure out where I lost it at. I could, I didn't, I didn't know for sure that it was here. No, I don't know. What so, happened? That's what's happened. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun stitching on this. Jason gets excited every time I get it out. He's like, oh, you're working on my thing, and I'm like, yes, I'm working Aww. on your thing. Oh. Oh, when we we had friends over this weekend, Neil and Kristen came to the house, and um. Jason's like, will you show them life is a game? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll show them. That's so adorable. And uh, we showed them Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Neil really liked the Ghostbusters one. Okay. And he's like, Kristen, can you, like, do a, can you do a Legend of Zelda? So so he's, like, on Etsy looking for Legend of Zelda patterns. So we may have Very started nice. a trend. We, I don't know. We have, we have infected more people. <laughs> I like it. So man, that, was, that was this weekend. That's adorable. That's adorable. He's so excited. Mm, he's very excited. He's adorable. What else do I got here? I guess I'll show this one next. So this one is My Favorite Season by Allerton mm. Embroidery. And I've made some progress. Oh, it's looking so cute. I added some green. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. let me just hold that up there. That looks really it's cute. It's really coming along. It's really coming along. So I have, I want to put this back here, which I think is a little far away this time for some reason. So I got all the veining done in my red leaves and I started, I uh, added this green leaf up here and started the green veining I down at the bottom. Veining. Yeah. So it's coming. I'm working on the second layer, uh, the second layer now. And it's, it's surprisingly quick this time. Like before I remember this just being a slog, like I remember mm. struggling. I get it out and I make 
a leaf or two's worth of progress every time. Wow. Um, so it'll it should be not you know, I might actually be able to send it to her for this fall. She might yeah. actually be able to enjoy it. So uh, and I'm counting this as one of my uh, I'm on the 21 Halloween cross stitch mm -hmm. patterns. So she says anything that's fall themed also counts. So I'm counting this. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So uh, I'm really liking it. I think my friend is really going to enjoy it. And this linen, I only have one more piece of this linen left. And I'm a little sad because this, I don't think I can find this linen again. And I like Wasn't it. that the, isn't that the linen you just bought from Joanne's? I just bought from Joanne's because I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I first started. And I was like, oh, people say they stitch on linen. So I just bought like fabric and it's totally, totally usable. And I love the like raw look of it. So probably could try and go find it again. It was, you said it was just difficult because sometimes the weave isn't as oh, yeah, it's as a it's, cross stitch. Effort. Yeah, it's totally a linen weave where it's like big, thick strands and little tiny, barely there strands. Well, I'll tell you, some of the linens I've seen come from even like the Four Seasons Stitchery. Mm -hmm. They're difficult to line yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, the linen is definitely more raw. It's got that more um, very varied. It's not even. It's like even like um, I've had to several times like scoot parts of it down mm -hmm. because it just got a big wave in it. And you have to like mess around with it and get it back into shape. But hmm, I like it. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, God, where is my beautiful even like 18 count Ada? It's so much better. <laughs> So, I know those feels. Yeah. And especially when my eyes are like tired and um, somebody in the stitching group asked me, or no, somebody on Instagram, I posted a picture and they were like, oh my gosh, that's so tiny. Do you use a magnifier? And I was like, no, I just stitch, I stitch with my arm up like this, holding the, the Q snap. And it's like right here. <laughs> this is yeah. where I stitch from. <laughs> I mean, when I was doing the ornaments, cause some of the ornaments I did on really fine fabric, mm -hmm. when I was stitching those, I'm like. Yep. I'm stitching like this, like, and when I stitch like on the Ada and stuff, it's down here. But like when I'm on those little things, it's. Uh, and I recently bought, um, I'll, I'll show it in the next one. Maybe, um, we went to Michael's and they had a cross stitch stand on sale, like on clearance, like way down. And I was like, Hey, you know, hmm. I've always wanted one. So I bought it and it's actually really great. It holds the fabric pretty well. Could, it could stand a little adjustment to hold the fabric in the mm -hmm. bars. But that's like a small complaint. But it it sits here, and I need it here. And I'm like, I don't know, guys. Like, if, unless I have big fabric, I don't think I can use this too much because it sits down at my like, like where you would read a book level. Mm -hmm. And my little eyeballs, your little eyeballs won't work. I need one of those old lady things you put around your neck and has the big magnifier and the light right here. What are these things that I need oh, in my, my gosh. life? I saw them in like a a. a catalog or something they, they like go around your neck like a necklace and then it comes out like a like a tv tray and it's a big magnifier with lights on the back of it so you just look down and your magnifier is right there but i feel like i need this too uh -huh. i put on my um i have a on amazon just like a general running wish list so i don't end up adding a bunch of dumb junk to my cart but i put this it's a neck light like it's a it goes around your neck and it's like little flashlights mm -hmm. Even though I have my big powerful lamp that's over me, I wanted a neck light because I thought it would help me yeah. get the now light just, at the right angle. Now I just add a big magnifier no, to I that didn't. and you're perfect. <laughs> you're ready to go. <laughs> this is the, the disability stitchers group where you're just too too blind to really stitch. I'm really blind. It's bad. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. What else you got? So, this next one sparks a small conversation. Okay. So, you guys, I decided to lose my mind and do a whole bunch of crafting for the wedding. And we'll see how much I get through because yeah. I am the slowest cross-stitcher in the world. We know this. <laughs> so, I don't know why I suddenly thought that I could just, like, whip out some projects. But I decided that for my table centerpieces... I wanted cross stitch like in embroidery hoops on those little like you know those things those like yeah, picture, the frame, picture frame tripod frames. thingies whatever I wanted to like prop up little um, frames of like I was thinking eight inches is the biggest yeah. um, hoop of like some sort of cross stitch design so I started my very first design 
that um, I'll be using and I'm maybe gonna have two or three of this because it's kind of easy. This is called Wreath Cross Stitch by the Perfect Decor Store. I have up the whole pattern too. And oh my gosh, so you made such progress on that. Yeah, I just started this and it, it goes really quickly. And Lauren's gonna pull up the do, 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 do. What this is what it's going to look like. look like. If it will let me. Look yeah. At that. It's very pretty. It's very cute. Uh, it'll be perfect for your wedding, especially you put you put a full center piece of like some flowers mm -hmm. and some things around it. It'll be beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I have um, white milk faces. Um, we talked about doilies and hankies underneath. Mm -hmm. So like some people put like a mirror or like a wood platform. I was just going to do a doily or a hanky yeah. under the vases. And then that'll give the ta table color. And then something like this, um, which I'm halfway through that heart. Like yeah. I, oh yeah, you made I am big deal. Only have the flowers to put on these. Like yeah. I have the stems Oops. all the way done. There it goes. Yeah, you're like way up here. Yeah. So I mean, you. Got... I do have half the heart done. Like, yeah. It so it'll it should go pretty quickly. Um, I worked on this for two days. That was it. Um, I kind of booked it. Yeah, I don't think it'll probably. What do you need? Uh, I need twenty. Twenty. And that seems like a lot. Nah, you'll make it. I'll, and, and, and hey, if you don't seem like you're making it, I'll pick up a couple of them. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see what what happens because it's kind of crazy and it's kind of stupid and it's like, do I put this much work into? My... Now, are you doing twenty identical ones? Or you're gonna be doing different. I'm gonna ones? do different ones. So oh, that's the um, that's the other thing I was gonna talk about is one of my. It's sort of a new start. I have four stitches in it and I didn't bring it with me. But I bought 14 count Ada white fabric to do, it's called World Map Cross Stitch okay, by Easy Stitch Studio. Boop, boop, boop. I have that one. Sorry, I'm inserting a new start. It just seemed to fit in the moment. No, no, no. I think that makes sense. <laughs> so this is what it's gonna look like. How and cute that is that? That one's gonna take longer, but I'm hoping yeah, that- a little more fill. I'm hoping that like with, um, it's, it is 14 count Ada, so it maybe won't be too bad, but we'll see. No, I'll, I'll play by ear. And if that's one that I don't finish, I'm not going to be too upset. Mm -hmm. But I think like if I do a couple of these, I was thinking a couple of these and there's two or three other designs that are kind of open and airy like this that I'm going to try mm -hmm. to push to have more of. Um, yeah. There's like... I just, what I did was I went on Etsy and I looked for heart cross stitch patterns mm -hmm. and I just looked for anything that was heart shaped and had something going on inside of it. So I found a couple, there's one with like little paw prints, like doggy oh, paw prints. That's cute. So I thought that was pretty cool. There's one that's like the whole heart is from the letters in the word family. Oh, I thought that was cute. That's very um, cute. So the letters are real thick and chunky. Yeah, yeah that's not bad at all. Um, and so for that kind of thing, I was thinking of just getting like um, really unique, probably weeks dye works type of thread instead mm -hmm. of just a plain DMC. Makes sense. And kind of have fun with that. And then there's just a whole, I favored at 23. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a wedding makes and I'm like, am I making too much stuff for the wedding? Probably. And it's all dumb stuff. Like a lot of people make a lot smarter decisions when they do their makes for their wedding, but... I'm like, let me make this as complicated as possible. 20 cross stitches, it'll be fine. And then if people decide to take the cross stitches with them, because a lot of people take your centerpieces, I've heard that happens, great. If not, I will be left with a lot of really cute home decor. Yeah, exactly. And it'll be fine. Very cute. I like I like the idea and I'll, I'll pitch in, totally yeah. get some of them awesome. done. Uh, no pressure on you to do it because I know it's my harebrained idea. I know it's harebrained. I am here with you. I will do anything I can. Like, <laughs> like we will make it through this and we will have it be perfect. Well, I'm just trying to find a way to make my centerpieces and wedding more cutesy and personal to Jason and I. Mm -hmm. so I, think that's, I think that's all, I mean, that's what you want, though. Yeah, it is. It is. So here we are being dorks. That's okay. So I'm sorry, that's pretty much everything I had to talk about cross stitch, but I know you have like five more things. I got stuff. I got stuff I going on. I didn't mean to put all my stuff together. It just kind of happened to flow. I'll do this one next. So this one is... I love this one. I love this one so much. The Mandela. 
I need this one. This is Mandala 0267 by Kana and Elon. And I have it a quarter done. Woohoo! So is this one whole section of yep, that? Yep, one whole section is done. That entire kind of like top right section is that done. That is so cool. And I got a little start on the top left section. I got these little paisley doodads done oh, up so here. Pretty. got this like leaf start up here done. Oh, it's so pretty, Lauren. And yeah, it's coming along really nicely. It stitches up not too terrible, um, but I didn't have a lot of time to focus on it. I think this is one night of work. Wow. Um, so... It's coming. It'll come quicker if I spend more time on it. It's funny how that works. It's funny how that works. Uh, but I'll be really excited to have this done. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I think I might need another skein of thread. Ooh. Because I'm looking at like my, my usage so far versus what I've got left to do. And I'm like, might need another one. Yeah. But I don't think I started with a full skein. So it's very cute. It's very pretty. It's very... Um, and it's a DMC thread that you yeah, can get Yeah, it's just a DMC thread. It should be fine. So there won't be dye lot issues? I don't think so. I mean, there can be, but I, it's going to be so minute. I wouldn't I'm I worry about it. There could be with DMC. Maybe that's what's going on. Remember I told you I have like, I have this 905 thread and they look like two different shades of green. Oh, that might be. It and I thought, I thought maybe I, like I screwed up and mislabeled them. But I don't remember like. I am I don't unskein two skeins of thread at the same time. Right. So. Hmm. That's unusual. Maybe so, it is. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe I am stupid and I missed out. The way I hold this, possible. you can kind of see there's one whole quarter and then on the back side. There's, I haven't done that quarter at all. <laughs> the way I fold you it know, up. You're so pretty with how you fold. Like, I'm like, mine's not even folded evenly in half. It's. Am I? Little pink and I put them all in my pink bag. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I also, um, uh, I'm excited to put, to try sewing this into a pillow, which is my, uh, finish for this. This is what I'm going to try and do. And so I think that'll be fun. It's going to be a pillow for this couch. It's going to be a pillow for this couch. Yes. Because look, I mean, well, this, this is, uh, this blue project bag kind of is like, look how good that blue goes with that purple. <laughs> Everything goes with purple. Who knew? Um, and then my last project is the one I made. Some real progress ooh, on. Ooh. This is my favorite stitch right now, so it's hard to walk away from. Oh yeah. So this one is Beggar's Luck by Threadwork Primitive. But I mean, are you done? Uh, I'm getting there. I think so. I have made real progress. I wow. got the entire banner down at the bottom done. Uh, you pretty much have the crow in the border, right? Yeah, that's all I have left is the crow in the border. And I made. I got his second foot on there. On the oh, crow, he has crow. two feet now. So, uh, so yeah. So now I will um, finish the crow up, and then there's just a kind of like it's got a little bit of intricacy to it, but not much. And then the number at the top, and that's mm -hmm. that's it. It's done. I love this fabric that it's on. It looks really great with the thread choices. Yeah, I'm really pleased. This is Vintage Stormy Night by I think Pictures of Plus. Mm -mm, I think. Uh, and it is just pretty. It's got a little bit of a modeling to it, but not too much. Mm -hmm. It just kind of looks, kind of just looks like old fabric, like white fabric that had been stored in a drawer for a little too long. Yeah. And I kind of like that with this, uh, with this and pattern. It's got a bit of texture, but not so mm -hmm. much that it's overwhelming the, the no. stitching. No. That's what's nice. It's really nice. And I'm stitching this, uh, the original pattern calls for it to be stitched one over, one over two. And I'm stitching it two over two because I like the more full bold uh look whereas hers looks a little more uh a little more faded which mm -hmm. if that's what you're going for is that like primitive look but that's not really my my jam but i like crows and i'll put crows on anything so so i'm pleased with that i mean you're cute i made good progress mm -hmm. i'm doing the thing okay i could show because i have it right here yeah, yeah, look at that. You, you pretty much have that thing done. Yeah, so all I have is this bird. He's got a little clover in his mouth, so there's one clover and the number and a bit of a border. Wow. But not crazy amount of border. Crazy. So, I'm hoping we're making big progresses on that one. You're um, like a stitching machine. Somebody said um, I, uh, every Wednesday is Whip Wednesday in the Halloween Facebook group. That's pretty standard with yeah. name, too. And I do, and I 
post this when I'm like, oh, look, I'm making progress. And somebody was like, I can't imagine only stitching on one thing. I'm like, lady, I got more than one thing going. They're just not all Halloween themed. I'm not going to overwhelm you with my mandalas and my Marilyn's. I was like, I was yeah, like, I can't have one that's thing. That's a little going. crazy. I, I was like, that's a little weird, but whatever. It was funny. It was funny to me. So I have Same. upcoming stuff. I have um, an acquisition if we want to show. I have an acquisition. I have a find. A find. What's your find? You want to go find first? And then yeah, we'll go and find. So we we're cleaning the basement. We're always cleaning the basement. Basement cleaning never stops. But we were. How are you still cleaning your basement? Your basement looks so clean. Well, we were. Uh, we had a big cedar blanket chest, mm -hmm. and we wanted to move it upstairs. So we emptied out all the blankets and went through everything in it and was like, okay, we've got way too many blankets here. Like some of these are, you know, we're cold people. We are cold people. But some of them were like sentimental things. Like there's one that was gifted to my mom for my baby shower. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. Obviously we're keeping that. Um, but then we have like, uh, my grandma made crochet baby blankets. And these are not like just baby blankets for us. These are just baby blankets she made. And there are a bunch of them. So I was like, okay, we'll set these aside. The next time there's a baby born, we the give family, them away. We give them away, and it'll be really nice that they'll have one of Granny's baby blankets. Mm. Like that'll be really nice. Um, but they don't need to be in this cedar chest right now. Right. We put them in a big uh, like what comforters come in the zip up mm -hmm. things. Um, and then as we were looking through, I found a crochet shawl that my grandma made. What? So I will show that off once it's cleaned up. It's it, it had yellowed a little, mm -hmm. so we're gonna clean it up. Um, so I'm gonna show that off because it's really cute. And this mysterious package. And I was like, what the hell's in that? And I opened it up and I was like, oh, there's a cross stitch kit in here. And so this is, I'm blind. this is the, it has been started all of six stitches. <laughs> this is, oh my God. isn't this adorable? What are you going to do with that? This is so cute. It's afternoon <laughs> stroll by dimensions. And the cool thing about it, so it's so 70s, right? It's so 70s, it's so my, it's so granny. Um, I don't know, I feel like I'll finish it and maybe gift it to one of my aunts who, they are a little older, they might appreciate it, but I think they'd also kind of appreciate that it was their mom's, I don't know. I don't know, I'll ask around this when we have the Memorial Day cookout. But the kind of cool thing, and everything's here, there's thread, there's instructions, everything is still in here. Oh, the so, fabric is stamped? The fabric, is painted and you don't stitch the whole thing what how cool is this this is so interesting to me. why don't we have more of this this is called no count cross stitch and so they paint this beautiful background and then they just say okay just stitch these unpainted areas and they tell you okay everything in this area that's lined off that's white everything next to it that's gray everything you know and so you just, you don't have to count. You just follow the grid marks on the fabric. So the birds are going to have feathers. The oh, birds are going to be. Stitches. Yeah. See those little four stitches of white. Um, and so it is, I mean, it's just, a, uh, it's something I've never seen before. I don't do, uh, I haven't done any dimensions kits. So I don't know if this is super common, but it is so 70s. And it is so cute. And I love the idea of having this painted background with like 3D elements of the stitching. Like, that's pretty neat. Uh, so, it's nice. Why is there not more of that? Because I feel like that would be awesome. It's really neat. It's And it's very pretty. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to have gooses strolling anywhere. But, you know, somebody will really love that. And so I might finish it up and see. But it was just like, I, we were just digging and it was like in the bottom under all these blankets. There was just this package. And I'm like, what is that? And I thought maybe it was like, um, you know how some people store their important documents in like weird places. Mm -hmm. or I thought somebody stored, you know, a marriage license or something. No, it's a cross stitching. So this was your grandma's? This was my grandmother's. I think. So um, when you I'm started sure. cross stitching, that is exactly how you store your cross stitch. Was oh yeah, in, the, in the mail packages. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Absolutely I did. I still have a couple in packages because they're right just upstairs and I need more cross stitch. But look, look, I love this too. So this is how all the thread comes. And you have to separate it and figure out what color it is. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, no. 